Now we come to the issue of compression. If you have recorded a very long narrated PowerPoint, or perhaps a lot of slides and a lot of audio content inside it, it can become a very large file. So the larger the file, there's a tendency for people to be more hesitant to download it. Uh, so you can look at compressing the file. Now with a Mac, there's only one function, you, there's only one feature you can compress and that is the images. So the reason why you would compress images is for instance if you have a lot of your own images and they come off a, uh, a digital SLR or even a, a compact camera they can actually be quite large file sizes two or three megabytes each and it can make for a very hefty file if you've got quite a few of them in there you can't actually see the file size but when you click on an image you'll notice that format picture becomes active and if you click through to that tab you have a little button there that says compress and if you compress you'll see this little dialog box pop up you can choose which level of compression you'd prefer now remember if you compress it high, highly compress it you will result it will result in a, uh, a blurrier picture than perhaps you started out with so that's one thing you might want to test first of all and you can also s select whether you would like to do it to all the pictures or just the picture that you've been given and this little one here is basically if you've gone through and and cropped in on different pictures it doesn't actually remove that cropped area until you give it the indication to do so so another way to remove the file size of unnecessary images so you'd only do this when you're ready to go right at the end you're happy with all the editing you don't want to change anything or you might choose to save a copy and then make that copy the compressed version if you did want to go back to the originals later on you can click OK and that will do the work for say all the pictures in or cancel that there's another way to find this it's in the topmost set of uh, menus and there it is there reduce file size it takes you to the same dialog box the audio files are typically going to be the largest component of a narrated PowerPoint but you can't actually compress these in the Mac version so what you need to do is to save your version as something called original perhaps and then you need to transfer across to a PC either one of your colleagues or you can hire them from the equipment loan store and you can open it up and go through the audio compression process which I'll show you in another screencast.